Meet Sailing Vessel Spec. She's a 1985 Beneteau First 42, although most commonly confused for a Swan or a Baltic. That similarity is no real coincidence, given that her designer, Herman Freres, also drew many of the Swans of the same era. But she is in fact a Beneteau, although nothing like any of their modern boats. I sold Solitude by Catalina 30 in August of 2020, and bought spec from two friends of mine who had just wound up their whirlwind 18 month circumnavigation. So she's already proven herself with one lap of the planet under her belt. She's been fitted out from stem to stern with some amenities that make her a great offshore passage maker, including an Aries wind vane self steering device, which I'm still mastering, and enough solar to make her energy self sufficient. Oh, she sails pretty well too. <laughs> I've also performed numerous upgrades to her over the last six months, including but not limited to a below decks autopilot and remote control, new electronics, Dyneema lazy jacks, running backs, lifelines, lots of other new running rigging, some rebuilt coach house windows converted to be frameless, a new stove, and an ongoing and never ending list of things to varnish down below. Speaking of which, let's head down below for a look. It's down below. Expansive nav station that doubles up as a pretty decent desk. Switchboard, VHF stereo, AIS, nav computer. Here we have the galley, nice double sink. Project hour is ever ongoing. Varnishing the fids. Decent size icebox. Dry storage. Gimbal stove, which I've newly installed. The old one is a mess. And an oven as well. Aft to port, pretty big quarter berth currently occupied by my bike. One and a half adults, two adults, with a bit of a squeeze. Aft into port is the head. Lavac vacuum head, decent size. Not so much room that you're falling around offshore. Here's the salon. Port and starboard are fairly large pilot berths. I fit on six foot three. Very comfy place to be at sea. You'll notice the port side cushions are missing right now since they are being redone. The cushions are in pretty rough shape, so getting all new cushions at the moment. Forward, we have a decent sized V berth. I fit very comfortably. Little area to get changed. All our offshore gear, storage, and then there is also an aft head that is out of service and is currently extensive storage. More offshore gear in here, sleeping bags and sails. Lots of sails. I've been a long admirer of these 80s Freyers era Beneteau firsts, but I did have some reservations. Teak decks are often considered a ticking time bomb, and someday these decks will need to be ripped up and probably replaced with fiberglass. However, thankfully, I've slowly but surely been replacing the plug holes and there's plenty of depth of teak left in the decking so far. Of course, I'm incapable of making any decisions in my life without the use of a spreadsheet. And so I evaluated a bunch of options within my budget, ranking the options based on a number of criteria very specific to me. Things like, can I sail the boat five nights a week with ease? Could I do some solo racing? Or could it cross an ocean? I've been delighted with spec. I've already put some 2,600 miles under her keel and we've sailed her from Acadia National Park in Maine all the way as far south as the Bahamas and now back to St. Augustine, Florida where we're spending the winter living and working aboard before returning to Boston for the New England summer. So there's my new ride. Any questions on the switch to a bigger boat I'd be happy to address in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Something something, like, something something, subscribe, whatever.